today. Uh, in fact, it's a political matter I'm playing in the way game. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm honored, I'm honored to be here. And I, I speak on behalf of all of us. Just making sure you're still paying attention. Um, exactly. Uh, so we talked about that we cannot allow the summer that we just experienced to repeat itself. Uh, you can see the chart to my right. Uh, incidents of harmful uh, algae, uh, algae blooms are increasing, not decreasing. There are lots of reasons, but clearly climate change is at or near the top of that list. So we know one thing, if we do nothing, even if it's a static, static reality between 2019 and 2020, we're going to have a, another a challenging summer, and none of us want that. For the local business people, from a recreational standpoint, uh, from a quality of life standpoint. And it's not just Lake Opac comments or Lake communities, but it certainly is, this is the biggest, in, in, uh, in, in many respects, uh, one of the most important. Uh, and this, the, the impacts of the HABs, as it were, are real. Everything from skin irritation all the way up to evidence, no humans have died, but evidence of am animals uh, drinking the water uh, in, the, in extreme cases have perished. So we want to get out ahead of this. We want to make sure it's safe, and we want to make sure that we're taking the steps collectively ahead of time. So we announced uh, at the outset of our meeting today that we had a really good discussion, as I say, that added a lot of really good points. We announced a three-pronged plan. Number one, real funding, a total of $13.5 million, uh, both state and federal money, uh, in three buckets. One is basically short-term projects that either prevent the HABs from forming or mitigate them once they do. Secondly, uh, another bucket of money to help local municipalities in the planning and pre preparing uh, process. And then thirdly, uh, in for the big projects, um, uh, to have a principal forgiveness loan program. And when I say big projects, for me, that's uh, the, the best example of switching from septic to sewer uh, and working with local utilities to get that process done. Second uh, bucket, so funding, $13.5 million mix of state and federal, some of that matching grant money so the number can get higher uh, than the 13.5. Secondly, um, a, a, a redoubling down on science and evaluation, making sure we're working with the absolute best cutting edge science available uh, to make sure that our, our decisions as, are, are as uh, well informed as possible. One of the things we did not promise but I will say I personally like a lot, and DEP is uh, look, taking this very seriously, and my sense is it got a good amount of support here, is to think through a, a, a process, a warning process that's much more akin to a hurricane system with a scale. Uh, and that's something that I think a lot of us like a lot. Um, and then thirdly is communication. We have to communicate better. And we've heard this evidence in different ways uh, today. Number one, we're going to upgrade our website. Number two, we're going to have at least two, if not three, summits in the cold weather in early 2020 before Memorial Day weekend with local uh, uh, businesses, obviously stakeholders of all kind. Um, the DEP is committed to being more forward-leaning, working with municipalities on that communication. I have committed to use my bullhorn more aggressively. Uh, our shore brothers and sisters give me good marks on, on standing up for the shore economy. I want to stand up uh, with equal force for the lake economy.